Hey everybody, this is Stu Fuchs from Ukulele Zen with another play along ukulele lesson for you. This one has a jam track audio that's available at my Patreon page for download. In this lesson, I'm going to be teaching you the George Formby classic ukulele song, Leaning on a Lamppost. There are four things I'm going to be sharing with you, and you can click on the timestamps in the video description below if you wish to skip ahead to the different chapters. This lesson is going to teach you four things, the chords, the strum, which will include two patterns and a triplet lick. We'll also learn the introduction, that's a nice little instrumental at the beginning, and we'll talk about how to sing and play this at double time as well. If you want to get the jam track audio that goes along with this and each monthly lesson here on Ukulele Zen, you can become a patron of Ukulele Zen. There are links below. If you're here just to hang out and play along, I'm so glad you're here either way. For the patrons of Ukulele Zen, click the link below to download the song sheet. It has the tab for the intro. Also has the play along audio jam tracks for this month. Thanks so much for your support. Let's get into today's lesson right now. I am out the door to my last week of my fall 2019 tour. I'll be in Richmond, Virginia and Florida for a couple of events. Links in the description below. This lesson was voted on by the patrons of Ukulele Zen. Thanks so much for joining in. You may be wondering, why am I gonna teach a George Formby song on a low G ukulele and also on a ukulele that's not even a banjo uke? Today we'll be focusing on how to accompany the song with good swing style and that applies to all tunings of ukulele, whether you're playing low or high G, whether you're playing a wooden or a banjo ukulele. And by the way, in the future, we will explore some of the George Formby stroke solo. Today we're gonna be playing and singing the song. There's a whole lot to learn in just doing that. Let's go over the chords quickly. For all of these, it's implied that you're sitting in a chair without arms and that your feet are on the floor so your arms can relax. Strum each chord slowly with me. C major, the next chord, C6, that's our open strings, G7, the next chord we will need, C sharp diminished, it sounds complicated, all it is is lifting the index finger off our G7, sliding these two down. Notice how you can slide right into the G7. You're gonna find this happening quite a bit in this song. A minor, D7, which you can finger in a number of different ways, even the open Hawaiian fingering. We'll also be playing a D minor seven chord, which is a D minor chord with our pinky added. Okay, make sure that feels comfortable moving to G7, because we'll be doing that a whole lot in the song. F, then you'll need E7, and G major also makes a cameo guest star appearance. Now that we know the chords, let's get into the strum. The basic swing strum is best approached with a thumb stroke down on one, a strong stroke on two, and then we muffle immediately afterwards by touching the strings with the palm. You're not tapping the uke, but playing the silence. Notice how I do this very slowly at first to get comfortable with the motion. Once you're comfortable with the motion of muting, and by the way, it's only about an inch or so it has to move, do this in time. Make sure you're counting. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, that's a great strum, and believe me, it seems simple, but holding this down with good, steady tempo, playing one, two, three, four. Two and four should be louder. That's where the swing feel, the backbeat is. The second strum we can use, especially when we go to upper tempos, is to play boom ditty. Boom, we just bounce our first finger off the bottom strings. Ditty, down and up. We count the strum like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. At faster tempos, it's a sixteenth note. One, e, and a two, e, and a three. ditty strum that will be heard in this song. The other strum is a rhythmic effect that is really popular, the triplet. For this, this triplet, I play it down with the index, then down with the thumb, then up with the index. When you play a triplet like this, you can go back and forth from down and up strumming to the triplet with ease. I've covered the triplet 
triplet in a number of videos at Ukulele Zen. Go to the channel, click on the search bar, and search triplet lesson. As I play the song, I'm going to be mixing up this swing feel with boom, dip-dee, boom, dip-dee, boom, dip-dee, and triplets. Now it's time for the introduction, which can be played either as single notes or as a fancy schmancy chord melody. Here it is as single notes. You'll find this on the tablature that goes along with this lesson. It's the same melody as the end of the song. I'm leaning on a lamppost at the corner of a street in case a certain little lady comes by. What it sounds like with the chords it's all notated on the tablature one two and three and four and here it is again It's a bit of a workout, especially this part where you reach that up there. Let's jam out the song now. I'm going to put a metronome on 132 beats a minute. That steady tempo will keep us in time. One, two, introduction, let's go! Two, three, I'm leaning on a lamp. I know you think. I look a tramp, you may think I'm hanging round to steal a car. But no, I'm not a crook, and if you think that's why I look, I'll tell you why I'm here and what my motives are. I'm a leaning on a lamppost at the corner of the street in case a certain little lady comes by oh me oh my i hope the little lady comes by well i don't know if she'll get away she doesn't always get away but anyhow i know that she'll try oh me oh my i hope the little lady comes by there's no other girl that i would wait for this one I'd break any date for I won't have to ask what she's late for She'd never leave me flat, she's not a girl like that Oh, she's absolutely wonderful and marvelous and beautiful And anyone can understand why I'm a leaning on a lamppost at the corner of the street In case a certain little lady comes by One, two, double time I'm leaning on a lamppost at the corner the street in case a certain little lady comes by oh me oh my i hope the little lady comes i don't know if she'll get away she doesn't always get away but anyhow i know that she'll try oh me oh my i hope the little lady comes oh other girl that i would wait for Oh, this one I'd break any day for She won't have to ask what she's late for she never leave me flat, she's not a girl like that Oh, she's absolutely wonderful and marvelous and beautiful And everyone can understand why I'm leaning on the lamppost at the corner of the street In case a certain little lady comes by In case a certain little lady comes by comes by something like that <laughs> so as you can see I'm taking this spontaneously playing along with the metronome the tricky stuff is of course to lock in with your rhythm don't get too fancy with the rhythm hold down that swing one two three four every once in a while you can put in that triplet 
And by the way, the double time. Now double time is hearing this click twice as fast. To do that, I'm gonna, instead of clicking on the quarter note, eighth note, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Playing at double time. Let me give you a couple of pointers. One is to quiet. One is to make sure that we're employing the boom ditty is a very, very light touch. Boom, ditty, boom, ditty. So then when you go twice as fast, it doesn't feel tense. This is no small feat. Notice what happens to your jaw. Smiling. Still smiling. Let's see. Sometimes you make the smile happen and the hand follows. The other thing for double time is to use this bass strum, bass strum, bass strum technique because it lets you go pretty darn fast. I pluck on one with my thumb and then I brush the strings with all my fingers, these ones, sometimes with this one. Now when we do this at double time, watch what happens. I now go twice as fast. on this heart of mine that's a different lesson for another time hope you enjoy the form b tune because you're my. i hope that this lesson has been fun for you thanks for being here hope you'll subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in another video don't forget to click the link below to download your copy of the jam track audio comes with this lesson for patrons at all levels of support thanks so much Hope music is making your day wonderful.